Hey everyone, welcome back to another video by Cam Room 5. In today's video, we'll continue with the atomic radius, ionic radius, and the electronegativity values. So let's begin. When we look at the period 3 elements, we know their atomic numbers increase across the period starting from sodium with 11 protons and argon with 18 protons. Let's imagine three of these atoms. They all have three electron shells. We have sodium with atomic number 11, silicon with atomic number 14, and chlorine with atomic number 17. We know that electron shells are not fixed radius, but there are electron densities. So what the blue region represents is the region where the electrons could be found, or you can see the orbitals. We know with less proton number, there is a less nuclear charge. And with more protons, there is a higher nuclear charge. Less nuclear charge won't be able to pull the electrons towards itself. So I can write the word less nuclear pull, but with more nuclear charge, more proton numbers, there are more protons. So they will create more nuclear pull on the electron and on their shells. Less nuclear pull won't be able to pull the electrons, but more nuclear pull would be able to shrink the atom. So overall, the, atom, the overall atom becomes smaller and the atomic radius decreases. More nuclear pull attracts the electrons and the electrons are pulled towards the nucleus. So you can say they move closer to the nucleus. And as a result of that, the overall atom becomes smaller. So the atomic radius decreases across the period. On the left, the atomic radius is higher, but on the right, the atomic radius is very much lower. There are two factors which are same, and those are the total number of shells and the shielding effect. So these factors were same, and the only factor affecting the atomic radius was the number of protons ionic radius we should know what does that mean it means the radius of the most common ion produced by the atom based on the group number there's a common charge they can produce and what is the meaning of the word radius well it is the distance from the center of the nucleus towards the region where nuclear pull is almost zero. So distance from the center of the nucleus to the point where nuclear pull becomes almost zero. Because there's no fixed track, you can't measure the radius. So that is why, that is the definition of the ionic radius or the radius at all. Let's imagine those atoms of period three elements each having three electron shells. They have their own nuclei. They have their electrons in the outer shell. On the left, you have sodium with 11 protons. On the right, you have argon with 18 protons. All the metals lose electrons and they become positive charges, so they lose entire outermost shell. And the non-metals gain electrons and become negative charges. So, when we talk about ionic radius, we should mention that the metals form positive ions, their outer shell electron is lost, and outermost shell is also lost. So their atomic radius is obviously more, and their ionic radius is less, because the ionic radius is made by losing the whole outer shell. And you can also mention that the effective nuclear pull also decreases, because now the same proton number is here, but less total electrons. The electrons are less in number than the protons, so they can pull them better now. When we talk about the non-metals, the non-metals gain electrons. They are not gaining them in new shells. So even though the number of shells is still the same, the new electron comes in the same shell, but still the ionic radius is higher. The negative charges are bigger. Why? Because the new electron causes a repulsion, so the ion 
expense then negative ions are always bigger than the atoms positive ions are always smaller than the atoms let's study it graphically you can see that as the atomic number increases the radius of the atom decreases and that is because more protons create more nuclear pull in terms of ionic radius the positive ions are smaller and the negative ions are bigger the atomic radius is affected by the number of protons so atomic radius decreases across the period and that is because more nuclear pull so more protons don't forget to mention the word more nuclear pull and obviously they pull the electrons towards the nucleus when you talk about the ionic radius do mention that the metals make positive ions they lose their outer shell electrons and their whole outer most shell is gone and with the outer shell gone it's smaller non metals gain electrons when a new electron comes it creates a repulsion with the previous electrons of the atom and that is why negative ions are bigger now let's continue with the third property which is electronegativity what is electronegativity so electronegative is the if efficiency of an atom to pull the electron pairs and that is again caused by the atomic number so let's compare sodium silicon and chlorine we know that less protons create less nuclear pull and more protons create more nuclear pull and using the same property more nuclear pull will pull the electrons towards itself so more nuclear pull attracts the electron pairs towards itself or you can say the electrons and all the shared pairs towards itself that is why chlorine and sulfur are more electronegative than like sodium magnesium let's write that down more nuclear pull results in attraction which attraction it results in attraction of the shared pairs of electrons towards the nucleus and obviously chlorine would have more of this attraction because it has more protons compared to sodium definitely so across the period electronegativity also increases that is why on the right side there is more electronegativity than on the left side chlorine sulfur are higher electronegative so that is why we can see the non metals are more electronegative let's keep it till here and the next video we'll talk about the chemical properties stay tuned guys thanks